Hello guys, Jman5511 here with um really glitchy mouse cursor. But anyways, today we are here to sh I'm here to show you how to download some mods for Just Cause 2. Um a lot of people are wondering um like I I mean I I play with mods and I've wondered been wondering for a while and I found a easy um way to do it. So um I'll show you. So basically you want to um go to a website called justcause2mods.com and it's basically a website that has a ton of different um basically mods for Just Cause 2. So basically once you get to the website, you go to the mods tab and you click your um like tab there's like map, player, vehicle, weapons. I'm just going to see if I can find a vehicle mod. And then basically it just shows you let's see, let's do motorcycle mod, see what kind of motorcycles mods they got. And basically you just want to find the mod you want. I'll just get this one, the McCate just hmm, gives it giant ass tires. Well, okay then. So yeah, once you click on the link, you wanna um click the download button right here. And um basically it should start downloading after a couple seconds and there we go. So I click save file. And then you wanna open it up. Okay, you wanna keep that file open. Don't forget to not close that file. Anyways, so then you, what you want to do is you want to go into your computer and you want to go into your hard drive with um, just cause two files loaded on it. So you want to load that up. Then you want to click on Program Files x86 and that should, if you scroll down, you should find your Steam folder. You want to double click that. Then you want to um, double click Steam Apps. It should be right there. Then you want to click on Common. Then you want to find just cause two. And then what you want to do is you want to make a folder in this folder called Drop Zone. So you just click, um, right click, and then click New Folder and name it. Well, you don't have to name it Drop Zone, but it's just called Drop Zone for the heck of it. But basically, once you're done, you want to open up Drop Zone. And then once you've done that, you want to take the um, internal file from the um, the file and you want to drag it in to the Drop Zone file, and that's pretty much all you got to do. So let's here, let's test it out. So what was that? The Makato 206X. Let me just open up my games folder and play some Just Cause 2. Let's see here. Let's see if this worked. And I have the black market mod also for this, so I could just spawn the vehicle right away so we don't have to spend a billion years trying to find it. Let's see. Let's get this loaded up. But yeah, it so it should work. I mean, so yeah, all you gotta do is get the file, put it into your drop zone folder, and that's all you gotta do. It's super simple. One of the simplest uh, air ways to mod a game ever. But okay, let's see. I'm right here. Let's get the black market up. Vehicles. Yeah, this mod, this black market mod, I'd recommend it because it's really because you get every vehicle and everything's free. Let's go down to bikes. This one. Wait, was it the 206 or the 260? Ah, who cares? We'll spawn this one. Maybe he spelled it wrong in the mod. Um. Okay. It's got no tires. That's that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. But it's okay. Well, that pretty much proves to you. I mean, I guess it works, but maybe he just didn't download the or make the file right. I don't know. Now I got a bike with floating. Tires, I guess. Invisible tires. So yeah, that's all you gotta do. Find the file, put it in your drop zone, and you're done. See you guys.